Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ride Alien. Today we have a zoo build that took me a week to build, which already put the video behind schedule by like a extra day or so. But then, turns out my microphone doesn't work, or well, the old one doesn't. So I now have this new nice one. Sounds pretty good. A little quiet, but also it's like a little hard condition or position. Because it's quiet because it's far away, but I can't get it any closer without completely covering my second monitor. Anyway. Oh, wait, I shouldn't... <laughs> I'm spoiling it. Um, yeah, so this is the brilliant zoo that I spent a week building. Got a little sitting area here. Oh, and it's heavily inspired by uh, Roger William Park Zoo and somewhat by uh, Southwick Zoo as well. Also, the, um, uh, what's it called? <sighs> so, the, like, classic, yes, the classic build pack in, not, no, it's not build pack, I don't know what they're called, but, like, the, the classic thing in Planet Zoo. I love that game. Alright, so let's get started. Here we have the meadow. And, nope, that's walls. Uh, where are the animals? They're right there, okay. These. Are uh, these are Galata baboons, or as they're called in the game, Galata monkeys, or Gelata, Galata. Either way, they live in the Ethiopian highlands and eat grass. And I found it interesting to put on the signs like their real life range of conservation stats instead of the in game stuff. Like, this bison is least concerned, despite their, uh, their population range being, I think, only 25% of what it used to be. But hey, we can totally go killing those things again. And here is the maned wolf from the Pampas in South America. And there they are. And what's even better, I, I have a feeder system. In some of the exhibits, if the animals can eat stuff. By the way, most of these mobs are provided by Alex's mobs, other and there's a few vanilla ones. But come on, come on, feeders over there. No, 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 no. Okay. I see we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Come on. Yeah, there it is. And supposedly that attracts mobs, despite looking absolutely disgusting. And then here's the other feeder. The raccoon one. Oh my god, it, it landed on land. They don't have to get in the water this time. Except they probably will. Because they had a pro- Yep, okay, here's the problem. They keep getting stuck. Huh. <laughs> That's the thing I- I have to criticize Alex's mobs for is that they get stuck pretty easily, and also they just sometimes they just the small ones will just despawn no matter, and you have to like name tag them. It's really annoying, and I have to keep pl placing little frogs and then uh, finding out. Oh, I have to name tag them. All right. Now here is probably the most Roger William Park Zoo thing that I have here, and that's simply because it's simply the concept idea. It looks nothing like the real building. The real building is like a modern theme. However, I don't know how to do that. Therefore, we have the classic style jungle house over there. I think it's called like the South America something or something like that. Yeah, it's basically ye. The concept is, you're on a path, there's a fence around you, so, and it's like raised above certain areas, but at ground level and others. So basically the idea is, the things the public should not interact with are on that side of the glass. But anything the public is fine with interacting with can just hop on over the fence and, uh, wait, where to go? There's a monkey or something, oh, here it is. It's not capuchins in there, it's actually tamarins, but this mod doesn't have tamarins, so I didn't feel like going back a few versions just to get tamarins. Because the Zawa has them, this mod doesn't. And, yeah, there you- Monkey!
Got some hummingbird feeders. I had a name tag for hummingbirds, too. Ah, and then there's the big flock of parrots. Which, uh, you know. They have stayed there pretty much the entire time. This, um, they're harmless, but also they're very afraid of people, so I don't understand why it's on the path. Alright, now here's a banana dispenser. I've had a problem with these, where, yeah, two cans get there first, and then they place a little sapling there. Oh, you just the cutest monkey, gorilla. Gorillas aren't monkeys, they're apes. Yeah, and I also found another glitch. Like I said, they get stuck a lot, and sometimes the animals will just kind of pause in mid-air in their animation. It makes sense for the hummingbird, because, you know, that's their thing. They're the only bird that climb, just hover. But, yeah. And I had some ants over here. But the problem- oh, wait. The problem is that they're stuck on something. I thought they got eaten by the anteater. By the way, have they all found that everything gets caught on azalea bushes? It's getting mildly annoying. Here is the don't disappear. <laughs> Now, if you go into this, yeah, red jungle fowl chicken, um, where is it? The flutter, yes. Because it's a fantasy mob, I decided, well, let's just make it up. It lives in deep groves of rainforest within the alpine mountains. It is vulnerable. And here's another little one. Sucks they have to name tag him, it ruins the immersion a little bit. But then again, how much immersion can you have in Minecraft? This much immersion. You are in a cave with a monster and a single cacti. How do you defeat it? You know, it's actually kind of rearing up to fight me. Alright, alright. You wanna do that? Let's go. Wait. Oh, that's interesting. I can't push these like I can other mobs. Hmm. Anyway, over here we have the savannah. And it's all African mob animals. Oh, hello, seagull. It's all African things. Except the emus, because I didn't have a good ostrich, and I didn't have an Australia exhibit, therefore... Uh... Say hello to the emu next to some elephants and a rhino. Yeah, just ignore the blue trees for now, we'll get there. And if I head on over here... Here is our crocodile. I did not name them, okay. I thought I named them something. Well, they're RG now. They are salty. And they are from Oceania. Hi, salty. And now, if we step inside here, we have the cosmic cod. We have a rattlesnake. I said it was a diamondback rattlesnake, but there are plenty of rattlesnakes that existed. I just thought this one was like a desert one that spawns in the desert, and I knew that the diamondbacks were in deserts sometimes. Thanks, Wildcrats. Then over here is the beautiful reef tank with an octopus, some flying fish, and the turtle that I cannot get unstuck. Oh, I never had a turtle to this book. I, uh, yeah, I'll get to that. Anywho, here is the, the snapping turtle. Where do their people go? They can't. I think, so they grow moss after a while of being in the water. So if I were to just drop in the top, 
I'm so glad I added these gate systems. I just come in. Oh yeah, there's your pupil. You're not terrifying anymore. Don't mind the banner, it's for the uh, map system. Ah, and here we see the anaconda that clips through everything. I don't know why, but snakes are just really, really hard to implement into Minecraft for some reason. You either have to have a long, stiff body, or you have to have a one entity that has a bunch of other entities behind it that float around through things. I have never seen a snake done right in a game. Well, actually, that's not true. Mo Creatures actually has a splendid selection of snakes. They're just a little, um... You know, they, they're kind of a string of floating blocks with a head. And here we have the giant burrowing cockroach from Oceania. Thank you, Planet Zoo, for that information. And here are rain frogs. The things that kept disappearing on me, and I made me find out I didn't have a name tag for them. And here are the mudskippers that sometimes fight. Yeah, look at that. Their mouth is huge. And there's that frog there. They're the victim. And here we have a terrapin hiding over there. And two moss puppy. Or no, devil's little puffish. But moss puppies is a better name. The problem with moss puppies is that their thing is eating moss, but when they do that, they multiply and it gets laggy real quick. So I kinda. Well. I tried to have moss in there, but I ended up replacing it with mangrove leaves. And that, with moss blankets on top, except they can also breed with the moss blankets, so... I just couldn't find a way to reliably uh, get rid of them. Catfish didn't work. Oh, and that terrapin, they have a cool thing. That, uh, you can't- I wasn't able to showcase in the zoo, either. I just kinda... Pop in through the top. Oh. Okay, well, we'll just take one outside for a second. Can I leave this door open? Right, we'll just kind of pop on outside for a second. damages things. Uh, nope. Resist the urge to fight your zoo animals. It's bad for their health. And here's the platypus with some nice little tiny eucalyptus tree, sorta. It's Perry! Perry the platypus! Da -da, da -da. <laughs> and the axolotls, which never come down from the roof. And the snake that clips through the barrier again. Side and slightly connected to the reptile house, we have the one, the only dragon of Komodo. And also Flores. In fact, they have a larger range on Flores than they do on Komodo, so I don't know why they're called Komodo dragons. Hey! And here- oh wait, I should get out the fence. Here are the other reptiles. Burbs. Because most people don't like to talk about it, but birds are dinosaurs and dinosaurs are reptiles, therefore birds are reptiles. 
And that's why the classification of reptile is kind of stupid. And then we got our little Jerboas. If I just slash time set night, they hop to life. Wow. Look at them. Just bouncing around all full of energy. And the lights are shining and everything looks pretty. The restaurant's doing restaurant things with their ketchup and mustard stuff. And here's another view of the map. And here is the forest exhibit. That is a Patu. I don't have a feeder for this, I just realized. I probably should. In fact, let's do that right now. Pop around back. Hello, all the via, the beautiful creatures. I am here to give you another food dispenser. And now we pop on back outside. It grows blue trees. Poof. A bug. And there it goes. It caught the bug. Good job, buddy. And there, a little Komodo- not Komodo Dragon. Why'd I call you a Komodo Dragon? You're a Tasmanian Devil. And, by the way, did that, um, did that crow have a piece of chicken before? No questions. And if I set time to day again, it is hiding amongst the tree. Problem is, I don't think it actually matches the color of any bark of any tree in the game. So the effect just doesn't work, especially since it spawns in dark oak forests, of all things. And now, we welcome you to the Ice Spikes biome, with... What are you supposed to be, a cow? No, it's the American Moose. However, they were fools and lost their antlers. Let me show you a real moose. Don't mind the behind the scenes. This, this is power and strength. And a magic tail spikies. Oh. Here we have the Depth Gullet. They are from the Mississippi River Basin and are endangered because, you know, people don't like giant catfish that go around swallowing horses. And children. Now if I just spawn a chicken in here... Okay, I'm on. Do it! Do it! There you go! Good boy. At what point does feeding live prey to it become a problem? Then we also got frogs and river frogs, which I think are funny because they just kind of they run away, but don't do it well. So they run away and scream while the thing chases them. Except usually it goes after like something else that's closer by, like the salmon. And over here, we have the Siberian Tusklin, found in Siberia, of all places. Wow, who would have thought? And they're cool. They don't lose their tusks like someone I know. I love you, Moose. Please do not kill me in my sleep. And here we have... The dinosaur lizard thingies. I don't know what they are. <laughs> because sometimes they're bipedal like that. Sometimes they're quadrupedal like that. They always, or not always, but oh, most of the time have spikes. And then, uh, and if I take the tusklin, 
And, uh, let me just go back behind the scenes again. Never finish the back, they always say. If I spawn a Tusklin here, watch as my, my, uh, pack of vicious creatures beats up the, their, their natural prey. What are you doing? Since when do they do that? Just playing leapfrog with <laughs> Yeah, I I love these things. Dinos unicorn dinosaur wizards. They shoot ice, and then if I can shove it in the water. Oh wait, no, it. it oh, I thought it lost its spikes normally. Lose your lose your spikes. Yeah, lose your spikes, and, and then if I just kind of bring you over to the water here, get in. Get in. No, come on. I thought they gained their spikes back. I've done it before. Oh. Cheating. You're not supposed to see that yet. Alright, if I run back through the cave. Unicorn dinosaurs. Oh, a mysterious place that leads to nowhere in particular, nowhere important. Mysterious iron door, you'll see in a second. And here is the island of Isla... I don't want to say it's like Mordos or something. Hongos. I was not close. Isla Hongos, or Island of Mushrooms in Spanish. I do not speak Spanish, so, uh... Thank you, Google Translate. Here are the giant, or titan shrimp, I think I called them. Titan shrimp, yes. Of the reefs that surround Isla Mungo. No, no, Hongos. I'm sorry, I'm mixing up Mungus and Hongo. Oh, I never finished this floor. Just, uh, forget you saw that. Here is an underwater view of the island. Nope, you're not supposed to see that e either. Or that. <laughs> uh, ignore that's happening. And here are the mushroom cows. And the mushroom people who always love to go back into that corner for some reason. I've had to lead you out of there three times. Hey, grow the mushrooms on Isla Hongos. Mm. And you. Um. Mm. Pretty sure you're nocturnal. Mm. Yeah. You go around looking for, for trouble. According to the Mabisieri, or no, not the Mabisieri, Animal Dictionary. Yeah, they're the ones who keep the island monster free. But the thing is, um, they spawn in a mushroom biome and they kill mobs. That's probably got to be one of the most redundant mobs I've ever seen, and kind of useless because just. It's, I mean, I guess it's a lore reason for why the, the drowned aren't all over the island turning into zo back into zombies or something like that, but. You, I always thought it was a case of, like, it's an island. You can't really get to an island unless you're adapted to go to the island. And then here are some mungus spores. You eat those. I think. No, 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 get back here. E eat the spores. Oh, they're cute. Who cares? They're useless. Now, here is outer space. The final frontier. Except, you know, it's the end. <laughs> so, here is. The giant Apophis. I'm pretty sure that was, um. Yeah, I think I looked up, like, Snake God or Void God or something like that. Snake God of. Alright, no. Just look up Apophis. Idiot. Apophis. Also called a Pep, a Peppy, or a Rerek. 
ancient Egyptian demon of chaos who had the form of a serpent and as you no know, was the foe of the sun god. Someone made a typo. See this? This fights God. It bows to no mortal being. Except me, of course. That's why I have it trapped in here. <laughs> yeah, just don't throw it in outer space. Bad things will happen. And here we have the Titanophage. And just, just don't think about looking down. And here is the Cosmar. A creature of... Oh, who am I kidding? It's just a cute little animal that eats the cosmic cod. In fact, if I just get a little cod up in my life and run back into this cave, here's the suspicious iron door from earlier. Here's the second suspicious iron door. Here is your cod! Wait, where'd it go? Wait. <laughs> Wait, is that- Do I have one of those things wandering about in my park now? Oh no. Guys, I- I messed up. I brought the alien to Earth. Wait a minute, I am an alien. Why is that a problem? I don't know. And here is the ancient Earth. A time of primordial beings. Like, this thing, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to have two block deep lava, but I didn't know how to manage that, therefore I only have one block deep and it just stays there. And, massive frogs. Who also just kind of sit there for some reason. And, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, their pupils are gone again. Uh, yeah. I've noticed that there is a bad thing that happens when you have, uh... For some reason, my... Extra animations, whatever it's called, um... Fresh animation- oh no. Come on, I didn't even take anything out, why are you reloading? <laughs> you don't need to do this, come on. I'm not loading anything new, I'm not taking anything out, you don't need to reload. But anyway, I've noticed that the vanilla mobs, they lose their pupils. Like, uh, like this guy here. All better now. Don't be angry. Anyway, these are Striders. They are from Earth. 3.6 billion years ago, as I said? Yeah, I think it was 3.6. And here is... A Warped Toad. They like staring at grass. But I, I think... I don't know what their problem is. We got another one here. See? Ain't you just fine. Y'all are completely fine. Wait, no, 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 don't. No. Oh, phew. I think they almost ate one of my little tiny uh, mouse thingies. Jerboas. And here is the Soul Vulture. Or I think I gave him a different name. Oh wait, look for this thing's over here. This, oh, I kept- I just kept this old vulture. <laughs> and then that's a- that's a drop bear. Wait. I had- I had three of those. And I know I had two of these, too. Like I said, things get stuck and things despawn. Ah, oh, there- there they are. Things- things get stuck, things despawn. It's annoying. I got rid of the Crimson Mosquito because they kinda floated up through the glass and it was terrifying. So yeah, now I have that thing. And the Drop Bear, that lives in lava tubes. This lives on Earth, uh, 3.8 billion years ago before the oceans formed and all of Earth was still a fiery hellscape. Is that it?
Yep, that is the whole zoo. However, there are some more ideas I'm planning to do if you guys are willing to watch another video about this. I have a plenty of open space here for maybe like a petting zoo or more vanilla mobs. Like, I don't have ocelots. I don't have dolphins. I don't have, uh... I don't have spiders, I don't have endermen or hoglins or horses or phantoms or sheep or any kind of farm animal. I don't have uh, creepers. Creepers is a nice one I can do. And I also don't have a bunch of the Alex and Morse. Aaron, something below me. Oh, it's a fish jumping. Yeah, flying fish tend to get stuck on that boat I put in there. Alright, and, uh, yeah, like, the Endergrade. I don't have that. I don't have some birds. I don't have orcas, except orcas are probably going to whale watch. In fact, I actually did also plan, if you're willing, to make a whale watch. What is that over there? You know what? I don't, I don't want to know. I don't care at the moment. And, yeah, I have some ideas, but, um... Thank you guys for watching. This is Barrett Alien. I'm going to give you a few glamour shots for the final thing. And uh, I leave in peace. Oh wait, hold on. Before I do that, I've noticed something. If I... Okay, well, no, we should get up on a higher building. This is the tallest building around for a while. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, if I fly like this, get out of render distance, and I am unaffected now, and then I do this, and then shift to let go, boom. I have attained much acceleration from using the squawk. Also, it doesn't work while you're elytraing, which is annoying, so I was hoping I'd be able to just keep boosting myself forward without needing the use of rockets. But no, sadly that's not the case. And down to the depth. Where we see absolutely nothing because I turned off mob spawn. Speaking of depths, I also don't have deep tooth creatures. I could do something like that. But honestly, I'm also good just playing Spider Man with this thing. It is so fun. Something I've noticed that is just the funnest thing is just and then Woo! Yeah, Elytra and Squawks are fun. Oh and another thing. If I get the flying fish shoes that let me jump on water. Then I get this, and I hold space. Endless acceleration, thanks to my flying fish shoes. And then if I, uh, wanted to get over there. Wait, no, I'm getting stuck to the bottom. That was not- I did not anticipate that. Let me just get back to shore real quick. I meant to do the jumpy thing with the shoes. Nope, 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 nope. That's not happening, apparently. I have to get it stuck to the land for that to What's going on here? Ah. Grab a bunch of gravel, apparently. 
Not if I do that. Skip. Oh, wait, nope. That was not attached to the land. But yeah, it's a nice way to cross rivers. You go so fast, just launch it. Why is there death stuff here? Oh, is that from the slash kill I did at the beginning? Yeah, I I stopped mob spying and then just slash killed everything to get all the uh like chickens and cows and stuff out of the way of where I was clearing for the zoo. Habitat destruction in the name of conservation, yay. <laughs> anyway, this has been the Right Alien, and I leave in peace. I'm happy to just do this in a sequel. Like, anyone wants to watch a sequel where I just kinda... wing it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank <laughs> you.